everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Sun Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So I'm indoors today because it's a snowy day outside and uh, my car is at my mom's garage. And so I thought today would be a good day to catch up on doing some videos for you guys. Um, it's quite cold in my apartment. So anyway, this video is going to be what's in my bathroom. So as far as bath and body and I'm not doing makeup, but bath and body products that are in my bathroom right now that I'm currently using. And as you're going to see, I have quite a number of things that I keep in my bathroom at one time um, that I'm using. And so that's why there's not a whole lot of empties, not a lot of empty videos, because I'm using so many different products for different things. So I've grouped them all into kind of like sections. So my dog is very interested in what I'm doing. So let's start with the hair care, hair care products. So um, what I've been using lately that I really love is the Herbal Essence um, Revitalize Micellar Water and Blue Ginger Shampoo. This is really, really good and it smells uh, really like I think flowers yeah it's got like a soapy floral scent that I really really like so I've been using this micellar water and blue ginger shampoo see because I could use half the bottle then I have this which I use but then I don't use my mom bought these by accident it's not what she intended to buy so she asked me if I wanted them and I was like okay so I have the uh Pantene radiant color shine shampoo and then the radiant color shine conditioner so i have a little bit left in here um then i was also using which i'm almost done with i highly recommend this if you have uh sensitive or delicate scalp see there's only a little bit left the and i finished the um, conditioner so this is the johnson's no more tangles two-in-one shampoo and conditioner um baby shampoo with cute little lion so there's that and I feel like I'm, oh, here, more shampoo. Um, so this is the Maui Moisture uh, Thicken and Restore Bamboo Fibers Conditioner for Weak Brittle Hair. I don't know why I don't have the shampoo in this. This does not smell that good. I don't know if it's turning or what, but um, it's okay. Bamboo fibers conditioner. So I don't condition my hair every single time. I usually, I take a shower every day uh, in the evening. Uh, but I don't condition my hair every day because my hair is, I have fine hair. So I find if I put conditioner in it every day, it gets greasy. So then I have for my, because I have psoriasis and I have occasional dandruff. I keep this in my shower to use when, you know, when needed. So this is the Head and Shoulders Classic 2-in-1 uh, Dandruff Shampoo. And then this is also good for dandruff. You can see I could, I've i used a, quite a bit of this. This is the uh, Extra Strength uh, Refreshing Scalp and Tea Tree Mint Shampoo from the OGX Company. It says Beauty Pure and Simple. So this, this is why I don't have a lot of empties because I'm almost empty with some of them. Then, um, let's see. Yeah, there's more shampoo. I think I'm missing one, actually. I think I'm missing one. Yes. So I have the giant bottle of the Alba Botanica bodybuilder shampoo in mango. I know I have the color treated one and I left it in my shower and I'm not getting up to get it. So you'll just have to imagine that I have another giant bottle of Alba Botanica for color treated hair. And this one is the bodybuilder shampoo in mango. Um, this I picked up at um, Marshall's for $10.99, which is pretty expensive, I think. It's okay. I don't think I would get it again. Um, it is 32 fluid ounces. Then any more shampoos? No, that's it on the shampoo. Okay, so 
Oh no, and then I have these that I don't really use, which I have them in there just in case. This is from the Dollar Tree, the Pantene Moisture Boost Conditioner in the Gold Series. And then I have this uh, Garnier Fructis Color Vibrancy Treat One Minute Hair Mask with Goji Extract. So I have like many, many, let's see, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11 hair products in there. That's a lot. Okay, so let's move on to the... I'm going to put this over with face. Okay, so let's see what I'm using as far as body products. So I have many here for many different things. The main one that I've been using, and it's almost done, it's like... One more shampoo, one more shampoo, one more wash and it's it's going to be gone. And that's the Perfect Peony Moisturizing Body Wash. I do like these from Bath & Body Works because I find them especially good in the winter. If your skin gets dry, it'll get itchy. And so uh, the Moisturizing Body Wash is very good. So the Pink Peony, I like the scent. It still stayed white. It didn't turn. And it's it's very good. So I have been enjoying that and it's almost done. Then I have this, which I bought this when it was sealed and I thought it was going to smell better than it did. It's okay. So this is Philosophy's Passion Fruit Daiquiri. Um, it, I don't remember it really having a smell. No, it smells good. It smells good. It smells like a tropical drink. I just, for some reason, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not nuts about it. So I'm trying to get through this one. And then I have this one, which... I don't know. I'm I'm not loving this one either. This is the pink marshmallow. This is philosophy. Pink marshmallow buttercream. It's okay. I'm not that nuts about it. It smells like peeps. You know, like Easter candy peeps. It's okay. Um, I try okay, so then this, this I really do like. This, this is a gigantic bottle. I did use a bit of it. This is the pure gray summer moments. Uh this was $16.99. I must have been out of my mind when I was buying this stuff at Marshall's and where was this? TJ Maxx. So this is from Philosophy. This is like a, a, a pretty light, like uh, delicate floral. If I could ever get this cap off of here. It's nice. It's, it's a pretty floral. It's kind of perfumey. I wouldn't get it again. Once I use it up, I think I'm done with this. Uh, pure grace summer moments but like i said i have like a, a while a ways to go um let's see what else this i just started using this the other day because i don't exfoliate all the time because um it's too harsh for my skin so i do exfoliation every once in a while when i feel like my skin is getting dry so i finally got to start using the tree hut um, lemon blueberry tart sugar scrub and it is so good it smells delicious it's not really super harsh I really really like it it's it smells so so good so I highly recommend this one um, I know a lot of people put up like the cotton candy one and all the pinky fruity ones but the lemon blueberry tart is really good so then I found this product, which I recommend. This is really good. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like to moisturize after you get out of the shower, because it's just like too much of, you know, of a pain in the butt to do. This is Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer. Oil infused, absorbs quickly and locks into wet skin for non-greasy hydration. So as soon as you finish showering while your body is still wet, you uh, apply this moisturizer and it absorbs quickly into your skin and it smells really good. And it's great for people who just don't feel like doing that extra step of moisturizing after the shower. It has like a shea body, what do you, like a shea cocoa butter type scent to it. It's, it's really, really good. Apply um, after showering, but before drying off, apply to wet, wet skin. Use a dime size amount on each arm and a quarter size on each leg. Dry and go. No need to rinse off. Simply pat when you're ready to go with instantly luminous skin. So this this has been really good. I would definitely pick this up again. Um, I do 
yeah and then it says here no heavy lotion feel so i do use this like when i'm too lazy to use my bath and body products but from bath and body works like the extra step but i still want to moisturize i this is very very good um so then these two other products that i keep in my shower this is almost done and this is almost done but these are for specific reasons so it's like a, a body product for every specific thing you know i'm not one of those people who keeps like one shower gel and one shampoo obviously because you can see i have an array of products so it's like use the corresponding product with the corresponding condition so um i have the dove men's care this is the skin defense hydrating antibacterial so i was using this more in the summer and also after working out because if you get like sweat rash or sweat you know under your boobs or your crotch area your thighs and you want to prevent no if you get sweaty there and you want to prevent a rash i did a whole video on this um this is really really good so like for when you get super sweaty and stuff and you need that antibacterial this is the only uh body shower gel product that i have found that specifically says antibacterial eliminates 99.9% .9 of bacteria micro moisture so even though it's men's care i find the men's products really good for tougher problems now this i bought specifically because uh well this is dove sensitive skin hypoallergenic gently cleanses and nourishes skin so my dermatologist ironically uh recommended this i don't know how we got into this conversation uh, my dermatologist and I, when I was talking about my psoriasis and she was telling me, you know, you shouldn't use a loofah on your skin, on your body, even though my psoriasis co is confined mostly to my scalp and like behind my ears and stuff. She told me you shouldn't use a loofah. It's very, very bad. You should use your, your fingertips to uh, clean your body and also do not scrub your scalp with your nails because it'll inflame your psoriasis so she also told me she's like I'm not a fan of like uh, she's like what do you use to clean your body and I was like bath and body work stuff and she said you know I'm not a fan of like perfumed uh stuff you, you're better off using like unperfumed natural things especially on your private woman areas and that area in your near your vajay on your vajay area and uh in in between your buttocks the sensitive areas those regions you should use she said at least those regions you should really be using um you know something that's very delicate you don't want to be using heavily perfumed products on those areas so i, I wash my whole body with whatever i want from bath and body works philosophy whatever the hell it is and then when you get to the delicate woman parts uh i use the dove sensitive skin hypoallergenic um and so yeah then okay so let's move on to Let's move on to face. Face. I've been using these Bolero facial wipes in watermelon scent. Is this watermelon and aloe to get rid of uh, makeup before I um, when I wash my face at night and stuff. Then I'm almost done. Almost done with the Alba Botanica Hawaiian facial cleanser with pore purifying pineapple enzyme. I'm getting sick of this one. Uh, this was six ninety nine at Marshalls. The Hawaiian like pineapple scent is is like it was nice for a while, but then it's like oh I'm so sick of pineapple. So this is almost done. So I replaced it with this. I don't really like the scent on this. It's like a really soapy, weird scent, but it it works pretty well. This is the Body Prescriptions. I got this for super cheap at Marshalls. This was three ninety nine. Body Prescriptions Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser collagen they had a pink one but i can't remember what the pink one did collagen strengthens promotes healthy skin helps remove excess dirt and oil gentle enough for daily cleansing so i've been using this for face and then also if i have uh like if i need exfoliation i have multiple of these this is the true blue spa apricot and white tea face scrub this is excellent stuff i do not know why uh bath and body works did not bring back any true blue blue spot products i don't know why bath and body works did not bring back any true blue products for their semi-annual sale 
Then I love this stuff. I found this in Marshalls for $4.99. This is so refreshing on the face. This, I don't know if you can see this. You can still pick this up. I think they still have it. This is the Advanced Clinicals Collagen and Rosewater Plump and Glow Facial Mist. This is just after you wash your face, uh, you just give yourself a spritz and it just gives you that extra freshness. Um, I really, really like it. You don't need a lot of it. As you can see, it doesn't look like I've used a lot. Half the time I forget to use it, but it's really good when I do remember to use it. So then I have some random products here. So the soap I'm using at my sink right now is one of my favorites by Bath & Body Works, and it's Sugared Spell. I picked up more at the semi-annual sale. This is Spooky Sugared Lemons, Candy Gumdrops, and Sweet Musk. Uh, then for uh, shaving my legs and stuff, I'm almost done with this. Uh I like this, but I have a problem with it. This is the Skintimid 2-in-1 Shave Cream and Conditioner. I think I got this from Ulta. I'm not sure where I got this. This is good in the sense that it's thick and it's like creamy and everything. Uh, shave Cream and Conditioner, 24-hour moisture. This says Delicate Water Lily. It smells good. It does a good job, but it is such a pain to get this out of the bottle. You have to like really, really, really squeeze the bottle in order to get the product out. So I do like the product. I would use it again, but I hope they would put it in like a different container, like a pump type container. And then for um, moisturizing my hands after uh, I wash them, I've been using the Hemp Vana. This is Hemp Vana Rich Herbal Extract Moisturizer. Dramatic skin hydration and nourishment enriched with cannabis seed extract. And this is number one hemp brand. I don't know. I prefer hemp's. Uh, I have not tried Hemp Heaven, but um, I prefer the hemp's brand to the Hemp Vana. The reason I put this in the bathroom for after washing your hands, because this is a good after hand uh, wash moisturizer because it smells, it has like a light, light lemon kind of lemon pledge scent but it's also kind of liquidy so it absorbs into your skin really fast so you're not standing there like you know super moisturizing so this is like really good for quick moisture after you uh wash your hands and then i'm going to conclude with the uh toilet spritzes so the toilet spritzes i got two of them i got okay i was using this one i really like it this is the Poo Proof Butt First Toilet Spritz in Wildflower Spell. I picked this up in Marshalls for $4.99. It smells really good and herbally. It gets rid of like any kind of poo uh, duty smell in your bathroom. You're really supposed to, you're supposed to spray this into the toilet before you poop so that it covers up the, like it traps the odor. It's like the poopery type method but i also like to spritz it in my bathroom and it smells really good then i recently picked this one up which i think is very very um amazing as far as the scent but not really to cover up a poo smell but because like i said when you want to scent your bathroom if you're scenting a room just to scent it with fragrance then it doesn't really matter what you use but if you're scenting a room in order to cover a foul odor then you want to use something that's like fresh or herbal so that you're not getting a double mix of like a pungent disgusting odor so this one is not ideally for covering poo scent but uh anyway this is the plant and herb refreshing island breeze toilet spray it smells let me spray, spray a little bit It smells good. It's, it smells so good. It's just the perfect combination of like tropical and coconut and perfume and just really, really nice. And it's kind of sweet smelling. So there's that. And then there's my favorite, which I definitely remember to use for inside the, uh, the toilet. This you can carry in your bag because you don't want to be stinking up your bathroom at work or wherever this is the poopery pink citron and this is strawberry citron and uh, strawberry citron and rock candy it says up to 100 uses so don't be fooled on ulta because they have one on ulta that i bought originally in this scent and it looks like a big spray bottle and meanwhile it's like this big 
So you're just better off getting the larger size, which is not even that large, than that little tiny stick thing that you're gonna get lost in your bag anyway and not be able to find it when you need it. So there's that. I think that's everything. So that is the conclusion of everything that's in my bathroom right now, aside from makeup and what's in the medicine cabinet, which you don't need to see that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.